Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I nearly just knocked my camera over. As you can see, I just got out of the shower looking like a hot mess with wet hair and I thought rather than just getting ready, I would grab a new foundation that I want to try and do a first impression and review with you while I'm barefaced and fresh out of the shower. So today I'm focusing on the Dr. Hauschka foundation. I got a sample here from Nourished Life. If you are switching to green beauty or want to try new makeup, I always recommend get samples where you can. You may not like the product. The colors may be completely different to what you think they will be. And sometimes some brands don't even really have a wide enough variety of colors to suit every skin tone or every skin type. These are such a great idea. Nourish Life is great. Um, they do offer samples wherever they can. This was only like a few dollars. Um, considering the actual full size product retails for around 69 Australian dollars, it's not uh, a cheap foundation to try so if you don't like it it's a fairly big waste of product and money so highly recommend the samples where you can. I just thought I would jump online first and tell you a little bit about the foundation before I check the colour match and see how it applies. It looks like they have seven colour options for the foundation. Uh, they seem to have a couple of uh, cooler tones, a couple of warmer tones throughout the light to medium range. And then they have a fairly tan and one dark sort of colour. So the range of colours is not huge, but they do have some darker options as well, but not a huge amount um, of different tones. So it will be interesting to see if this one matches me. I got uh, the colour Chestnut 03, which is to suit sort of the medium, light to medium-ish skin tone ranges. And I'll just tell you a little bit about the product before I apply it. I've never used Dr. Hauschka before. This is all new for me, so I am excited to try something different. So it says their foundation is... Nourishing and, nourishing and naturally luminous for all skin, light to medium coverage, creates a flawless complexion. The formula... Oh my god, <laughs> help. La, 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 la. The formulation combines mineral pigments with nourishing botanical ingredients such as pomegranate, macadamia oil and coconut oil to hydrate and protect the skin. I guess you should probably watch out if you do have a severe nut allergy. This is another reason why you should never just slap on products and see how they go, regardless if they're natural or not. If you have an allergy, you should always check ingredients before you try any product. This is quite a generous sachet too, which is good. Sometimes you only get like a teeny tiny amount and you can't really get a feel for the product. Oh, it's a bit lighter than I thought it would be, which is a good thing. I'm just going to start out with my Real Techniques face brush and I'm going to apply it to half of my face hopefully oh it does have a um, a smell to it a scent if you will oh it's quite strong actually colors not too bad it's nice and creamy it is, it seems to be a light sort of coverage which is making it easier for the colour to sort of blend in but I feel like it is a little on the ashy side. Okay, so this half is done. You can see it's definitely evened my skin out a little bit but it is quite light coverage. It has blended in very easily and it did sink into my skin quite quickly but oh I like the feel of the finish actually it's there's absolutely no tackiness at all it feels like I have nothing on my face uh, and it's blended out evenly there's no streakiness it's quite a clean finish I really like that so far it's just kind of smoothed everything out a little bit but you can still see my skin through it so I'm going to go back into the other side of my face using the sponge. I 
Okay, that's the other side done. You can see it's just, whoa, it is really windy here today. You can see that it's just tidied everything up. Really nice natural finish. I feel like there's not a huge difference with the application, to be honest. I think obviously with a sponge, it is going to absorb a little bit more of the product. But I feel like uh, it blended out really well. And the coverage is fairly similar with the brush or the beauty blender. But I'm thinking maybe the brush gave a little bit more coverage. What I'm going to do is go back in with another layer using the sponge and see if I can build up the coverage to get it to more of a medium. Super impressed with this um, sachet. The amount of product you get is really quite generous. Okay, so that is with a second layer. I feel like the color is the right depth of color for me, but it's the wrong tone or the wrong sort of finish. Um, the tone of it is a little bit too ashy and you can sort of see it's just not quite right for my skin tone, but it might just be the tone, not the actual depth of colour. So I'll have to maybe get another sachet of something a little more on the warmer side um, because I feel like, yeah, this is just giving me a little bit of a weird finish in terms of the colour. Uh, in terms of the coverage, this is definitely built up to more of a medium sort of coverage, which is great. It is not looking cakey or thick. Uh, it has not dried out my skin. It's not oily. It's a really nice balanced foundation. So I'm just going in with my RMS Beauty Concealer and I'll just focus on the under eyes because the foundation has actually, it's done quite a good job at covering any spots or redness that I have. I'm just taking some La Mave Mattifying Powder. And I'm going to focus that under my eyes and on my T-zone. Okay, so I feel like other products have blended well over the top of that foundation. Yeah, everything's sort of melted in together nicely. It hasn't um, gone patchy or anything underneath the concealer and the powder. Unfortunately, I will not have time to do a wear test today, but I will put in the comments below um, how I felt the product wore after wearing it for most of today. I will um, put some info down below for you regarding that. But otherwise, I really like this foundation. It is a little on the expensive side, but I feel like it would suit a variety of skin types. But I think it's just about making sure you can get a shade that matches your skin tone um, and your skin depth of colour. Um, the only thing I will say is it does have quite a strong scent when you're applying it, but once it's gone into the skin, you can't smell the product at all. Like, I cannot smell it at all on my face right now, but if you do have a sensitive nose, I know some people are quite put off by that, so that could be um, one downfall, and also the skin colors or tones could be another downfall if you can't find one to match yours. I'm going to have to go and get another sample and see if I can find something that matches my skin tone perfectly before I invest in a $70 foundation. Uh, but otherwise, I really like the texture, the um, blendability of the product, the fact that it blends just as well using a brush or a sponge. Um, you can go super natural or you can get medium coverage and it hasn't gone patchy, it wasn't hard to build or blend, um, and I really like the finish and the feel of the product on my skin, it feels really nice. So there's a lot of positives for this product in my opinion. I would love to hear from you down below if you have tried this foundation and what you thought of the product. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.